Yo, what is up guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Don't have my headset today. I feel kind of naked. It's already packed. I'm leaving in two hours to head to Finland. Going to be interviewing the development team for Brawl Stars. So guys, if you have questions for Brawl Stars, make sure you check out my last video that just went out and ask them in the comments. I'm going to be reviewing those and taking the best of them, hopefully, and asking the development team, uh, what's up with their game? That being said, we've got some awesome attacks here today. Today, we're going to be looking, again, to continue the dragon theme. I'm going to be looking at Town Hall 9 dragons today. And while I was looking for raids, I found one of the most unique raids I've ever seen at Town Hall 9. So, Let's go ahead and start with that one. Let's go all the way down to Dylan here. Sephiroth comes at this base. Now, the attack itself doesn't look super crazy. What you'll notice, let me pause it real quickly. Uh, on the outside of the base, he's trying to prevent any deployment of troops anywhere near the walls where all of his defenses are hanging out. So he's trying to screw up pathing and make it very hard to predict. Watch what Seph does here to take care of that. So first and foremost, he drops the queen. <clears throat> Then he drops the king and some wizards for the funnel. That's going to force the king to the south. The queen gets a rage to support her. And she is going to go ahead and march her way down the wall after taking out the enemy king. Uh, things looking good so far here. Now, the archer tower and cannon stay up, and that is okay. We'll see what he does with that here in a minute. So now that the queen is going down the wall, she's taking out buildings. Uh, the walk is going fine. She's going to actually snap in here and take out a couple of these archer towers. Things are looking pretty good at this point. Rage spell used, and then he's got some minions on the outside to help force the queen inside. Now, let's stop again, take a look at the base and what has happened. Now, the uh, trash buildings on the bottom are still a problem, but he can pretty much take care of those after he's taken out the inside of the base. To target the inside of the base, check his army composition, guys. He's got Valkyries and Hogs. Now, you would think some sort of like Vaho, where you send in the Valks and then come to the side with the Hogs. Um, that was what I thought was going to happen here. But if you watch closely, he brings in his Valkyries. Then he brings in the Hog Riders right behind him. Then get this. This is where it gets weird. Out of the CC comes Miners. So he's got Hog Riders, Valkyries, and Miners from the top. All of them sharing the same spells, working through the walls. We've got a CC there. Uh, looks like a Poison spell is going to take out the majority of those as they hang out on the Expos. And look at this, baby dragon in there just wreaking havoc. You know, you would think that is not going to work with all ground troops and a baby dragon. Well, the miners are uh, taking care of business. Uh, it looks like the Valkyries have taken care of business. Even though over on the far right, that miner gets a archer tower by himself. Uh, that's pretty impressive stuff. Those miners actually live for quite a long time. Valkyries still kind of pounding their way through, and you can see the miners going to the next buildings out of the CC. Uh, Town Hall 9 miners are actually very strong uh, because they have a ton of hit points. They hit fairly hard and uh, you can really focus on the outside of the base while taking care of the inside. So at this point, it's just a matter of cleanup. He's got a million Valks left over. He's got the Queen left and he's going to send in some, uh, you know, wall breakers to distract, obviously. But I was like, how, how crazy is that? We've got an attack with Miners, Hawk Riders, and Valkyries all hitting at the exact same spot. So I wanted to share that for sure, guys. That was pretty unique um, stuff there from Sephiroth. Let's go ahead and start watching the Town Hall 9 Dragon stuff. Um, again, guys, remember from the Town Hall 11 and 10 videos, uh, boom, zap quick. Remember from the Town Hall 10 and 11 videos, guys, if there are places in the base where the air defenses are vulnerable, like grouped together, that's really kind of an advantageous spot for you to attack. Notice he takes out one of the air defenses that is unreachable uh, by the lightnings and the quake, and then he takes out the other one with the queen all by herself, really no assistance at all. So that's uh, one section of the base. Now the other section to deal with is this down here, and if you bring the right army composition, you can see he has a Lava Hound. He'll be able to take that out pretty easily um, simply by sitting it on top, tanking, and then supporting with balloons. So that's kind of what's going on for FBL here. He's setting up uh, the dragon entry right now. He gets a lure onto his king, gets all of those troops outside the base. And while the dragons could kill them inside the base, you don't want to. Wow, look at that Valkyrie. That Valkyrie almost let those dragons a little bit on a, uh, a little bit of a field trip there. Queen is down. 
Dragons skip the town hall. Well, ultimately, uh, they'll probably come back and get that. We've got a balloon supporting some dragons up top. It's going to go in. Really good use of the balloon there. And then on the bottom, there it is. The Lava Hound goes in and then it sends in some targeted balloons here. And the goal is just to take out the air defenses. Once the cannon goes down, that pathing is perfect. There we go. All air defenses down and even some air targeting stuff as well. The Hound's still alive, still tanking. The balloons having their way with the backside of this base. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, we've got dragons and balloons uh, just crushing the rest of it. The only thing really left is the Tesla farm over there. Uh, but too many dragons left alive. They're going to take it out. Really, really solid stuff there from FBL. So again, guys, kill squad to one part of the base to hopefully take out some uh, some dragons. Use as minimal camp space as possible, minimal hero space as possible, because you want to get as much accomplished as you can as cheaply as possible. And then dragons for the rest of it. So <clears throat> here we go. Five dragons in this one, all of the air defense over on the right portion of this base. What is he going to do, guys? He's got two Lava Hounds in this one. Notice how he's got a Lightning, double Lightning. He tried to get the air defense here, and he does not get it. He got the Sweeper. He wanted that air defense to go down, so it was a little bit of an overinvestment on his part for the spells, but he's still able to overcome. So he starts off by clearing the side. Uh, with the king, he's going to be going down the wall with him. And now the queen's going to step up, get one air defense taken care of. Check this out. Hog Riders going in. And they're going to go right to the air defense untouched. So they get there, a couple shots, and boom, it is down. Queen goes around the outside. And while the uh, the expo is locked onto those Hog Riders, the queen takes care of business over on the uh, third air defense. Now he does still have one of them standing. A couple of Lava Hounds, he's probably going to park one over the lower section down here, and then one to the, uh, uh, what's it called, the upper one there. So there it is, one of them goes over that lower section. Tesla Farm on the left, that's kind of mean. Uh, he takes it out with Balloons and Haste. There it is, the Hound blows up, last air defense is down at this point. And then look at the Balloons from the bottom, it's like they just don't have enough uh, to get it taken care of and there you see uh, Lava Hound parked on top of the wizard tower Which was tanking for everything and he's got so much left over He still has three dragons left in the sky not bad considering he only had five to start and the balloon still cleaning things up Very nice raid here from Lime Killer again taking advantage of some weaker air defense placement in the base and making sure that he had a good plan uh, to take care of that now a lot of people will say, well, man, these are bad bases, like all the air defenses off to the side. Not necessarily, because typically what they're doing is baiting a overinvestment from the attacker where they just simply won't have enough uh, to finish the base if they overinvest to try to get as many air defenses as possible, even all of them. Like, as you can see here on the left, quite a few air defenses, but to get all of those, that would be... A fairly significant investment and even if it was a queen walk or something uh, to get these guys maybe that works you'd have to bring some wall breakers in there some tanking troops and also some stuff to funnel um, so maybe it's not worth the investment so watch how FBL takes care of this first he's gonna drop a baby dragon out of range work his way up and instead of going after the air defenses directly with the kill squad instead what he does is realizes these two air defenses and even this one over here are very near to the outside of the base meaning that he can drop in some balloons and get there in pretty short order so all he has to do is buy some time for those uh balloons to sneak in take out the air defenses and you buy time with a hound so he's gonna bring a hound in the cc he's got eight dragons the eight dragons he's gonna come from the other side of the base and attack the air targeting stuff first to get that out of the way and hopefully the loons will take care of the air defenses as best as possible. The queen does get one. She's going to use her ability here and go down the wall, getting a few more buildings taken care of. And here it is. We've got dragons tanking for the balloons. Balloons are uh, working on some funneling, which is great. And then in go the dragons here. Dragons are going to get this, uh, this first archer tower taken down. That forces them kind of all to the core. The pathing is fantastic. Now, from the bottom, we've got a lava hound going in. And here it is, Balloons in Haste. He actually didn't get the Lava Hound in time for the Tesla to tank, but the air mines down there do take out the Lava Hound, not the Balloons, and he gets some more value from that for sure. Now, he does have a Rage Spell left, 
and what he's gonna do is use it on the you know three dragons that are on the bottom air defense they get it taken out fly on up and all of the air defenses are down at this point check that out guys seven dragons left over on this raid uh yeah i'd say that smash no defenses left except for this mortar up here but it can't do anything anyways so fbl getting it done guys hopefully you guys can hear this video i can't hear myself so i don't know if my audio is working or whatever hopefully things are good i've got to go pack up and get the heck on my plane and get out of dodge so hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the video if you did drop a like on it for me if you're new to the channel feel free to drop a subscribe i'll be back with more clash of clans videos the next ones should be from the other side of the ocean possibly from my hotel room per the usual when i travel i may try to record one more before i get out of here uh, but that being said this this is going to be it for this one power bang i'm signing out for next time, uh, let's look for the outro key here since my keyboard broke. That's all I got. Peace out, guys. Take care.